I'm Rick Stengel. I'm the editor of Time, and I'm delighted to have you here. And I'm even more delighted to have, as we call him in our household, D. Wade uh, of the world champion Miami Heat. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's talk about the book first. It's really amazing, your story. I mean, uh, your childhood, which you talk about in the beginning, is, yeah. was really harrowing. I mean, it's very intimate how you write about it. I think it's been stories that's been you know, out there about kind of my upbringing. Um, I just felt that, you know, I kind of wanted to, I don't think it's been really told from my perspective, you know, and a lot of it is I had to go back and remember being a kid. You know, I had to go back to five, six, seven, eight years old. And so I kind of talked about the way I viewed, um, you know, m my mom's addiction to drugs, the way I viewed, um, you know, my dad's militant, strict, um, ways and his addiction to alcohol and I kind of got into a little personal you know side of my life that you know a lot of people keep near deep inside and the reason I did um, was because you know I do a lot of charity work uh, with my foundation and I see kids every day um, like me like the kid that I was um, so I wanted to kind of give them hope so one of the big themes of your book and of course the title explores this is, is the role that your sons are playing in your life now and, the, and this custody fight that you went through it yeah. that was really difficult. So mm -hmm. let's talk about that a little bit because you're very, you're very personal and intimate about that too. Yeah, my, well my sons run the show. It's their world. <laughs> yeah, I'm just living in it um, in a sense. But uh, when the separation happened and I wasn't able to see my kids, I wasn't able to talk to my kids, um, the fear of not knowing, the fear of not being there, um, you know, so many different nights and days and not being able to sleep because I don't know where my kids are, that, it hurt me. And then I said, you know what, and I, I don't believe, I don't think my kids are getting what they need to succeed. Um, so, you know, I, I took it to court and I took it to, to fight for full custody and, you know, obviously the judge, you know, decided in, my, in our favor and she felt that the kids would be um, in a better environment um, living with me. So let's talk a little basketball. Um, so this is your second championship, and not to uh, steal a question from my own son, who's sitting in the first row, but he asked you inside, what was the difference between the first championship and this one? Was there one that was more satisfying? H yeah. How did that feel? Yeah, it was a great question, by the way. Okay. He, <laughs> watch out. Um, both of them was great, but what makes this one a little more special in a sense of, is because I've dealt with so much more in my adult life, you know. When I was younger, I dealt with a lot, but I was a kid, I really didn't understand. Now I've been an adult, and six years in between championships, and those six years I went through so much. I had three surgeries, you know, one that I could have ended my career with my shoulder. Obviously, I went through the divorce, went through the custody, I went through lawsuits, I went through everything possible. You know, it made it feel good when that, when that clock hit double zero, triple zeros, and uh, we won the championship. And one big difference, of course, was LeBron James coming to the Heat. So much of the victory was about him trying to redeem himself. How did it feel, you know, for you to play a role where where you're actually, you know, kind of dishing the ball off to him more than than you, you were used to before? He's in a prime of his career. Um, he he has so much ability, um, you know, that a lot of people don't have and and can't guard. You know, I just said, listen, you know, we're going to go as far as you know that you lead us, but you got some very good very good people right behind you that's, that's willing and, and ready to step in, but we want you to be as great as you can be. What was his answer to that? Because his first year, he was a little more tentative, yeah. and, and this year, he stepped up more. Yeah. Particularly his, his in the answer playoffs. to it was an MVP of the regular season, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MVP of the finals. Uh, that was his answer to it. He went out and he, he played free. You know, he played like the LeBron James that, you know, everyone, you know, came to love when he was in, um, in, um, in Ohio. How's your knee? Knee's good. So what, so you had, this is your fourth knee surgery? Third. Wow. Third. Oh, no. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is this what? This is your last knee surgery. Yeah. How often do you play in pain? I mean, how, how, and how much pain is, is it too much to say, hey, I'm not playing tonight? Well, it's, it's tough to, um, to get that across to people because, you know, as I get a lot, people are like, ah, oh, you make a lot of money. What's, what's you hurting? So what? <laughs> really? Um, you know, I mean, I think in, in professional sports, you know, everyone has to play with pain. It, it's very rare that you see somebody that's 100%. Everyone is, is, is hurting with some, some element of their body is, is aching, in a sense. I mean, the grind of a schedule. Every city we get into, it seems like it's 3 in the morning. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we up early in the morning getting ready for the next game. And so after a while, it takes a toll on your body. You know, I played, you know, with needing surgery all season on my knee. I played after I dislocated my shoulder, uh, played through the pain. You know, you play through everything. But it's a part of sports, and um, you do it because you love it and um, because you know you can't play it forever. So I don't have a lot of time to waste. I want to talk about the, the point guard in chief. Uh, Dwayne played basketball with the president on his 49th birthday. So how, well, how's his game? Is it cameras and, oh, okay. 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 It's unbelievable. President, I think you can play in the NBA. Um, no, actually, he, actually, I thought he was pretty good. He was kind of like a point guard. You know, he was passing a lot. He's a lefty, so he's passing a lot. Real smooth, like he talks, like he walks. Real smooth game. <laughs> and uh, we was playing around a little bit, you know, not really winning, winning any games. So he brought us in, and he was like, hey, listen, we out here to win. You know, let, hey, let's turn it up. Like, really, he went into president mode. And it was kind of scary. <laughs> so uh, needs to say we came out and won the next game. But he hit the game when the shot. I actually passed it to him. He hit the game when the shot. So it was kind of cool, you know, getting that. I passed it to the president hit the game when the shot. <laughs> I tell my grandkids that for years to come. Yeah. Dwayne Wade, father first. Father first, but so much, much more. And good luck this season. Great Thank to have you. you.